Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and uh, therefore is going to resonate on a different level for every single different Sagittarius in this planet so for that reason in this video I'm doing my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it will uh, be up to you guys to make best sense of them according to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and uh, if you go for that option don't forget that by the end of uh, December till the end of December uh, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, tarot reading with me are with reduced costs due to a Christmas sale so that being said uh, we do have a these five cards here for the um, for the general reading and that is going to be an enhanced spread which means that we are going to draw multiple cards per position but just from the overview of uh, of these cards it does look like guys that you are going to set up for yourself a, a long term goal a goal which is not going to be um, succeeded on through for the month of uh, January or you will just gonna scratch the surface with your performance which could come as a, a bit of an, an aggravation uh, because probably at the start of the month you will think that that is something you know um, <clears throat> Uh, that is that would that is going to be a, a very fast undertaking uh, to be accomplished but the more you dive into it the more you will realize of its potential and how far actually it could go and uh, also the complexity of the whole thing is going to be much more bigger than you will in initially anticipate it uh, so the first card that we do have that is the general topic for the month for you followed by the nine of pentacles here So we do have the two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and for what it seems uh, the, the the whole topic is going to be you collecting some um, benefits money for example and in generally, you know, taking advantage of everything you can in order to increase your personal standards, which is a good thing because, uh, <clears throat> you know, if, even if you think that you don't have many things to work with at this particular moment in the month of December, that probably is going to be opened uh, for you in the month of January and you will have to choose and not just to choose but also to capitalize on from many different uh from many different angles and from many different um I can't say that there are uh, opportunities, but let's say options available. Because what these cards here are pointing that you do have those opportunities even right now, but for one or another reason, you know, something is obstructing you to take advantage of them and to capitalize on them. While in the month of January, uh, th this predicament or this blockage will no longer be in place, and you will now be able to dive into them and to really start making your way through which actually is going to be i cannot say that it's going to be very easy but in the same time i don't know how to is that the correct word to say but it's going to be rather very productive what this nine of pentacles here are pointing with the two of pentacles is that all these blockages which are going to drop off for you uh they, they are going to reveal blessings and uh, most likely here you're going to take on a such an undertaking that you are going to find yourself very good at uh, very good of doing so that could be jumping out of nowhere the job that you have hoped for that could be jumping out of nowhere the project that you have hoped for so jumping out of nowhere I mean that you know uh, before the new year Eve your boss completely forbid you or uh, told you that you can't even hope you know to get involved into that big project while let's say mid 
uh, midway along January they tell you you know what I reconsidered and now I think to involve you into this project or it could play out in a different way you know trying to uh, to impress a certain person because you are enthralled by them and you want to be with them you know and until the Christmas Eve um, or the New Year's Eve they kind of didn't pay any attention to you they kind of pushed you back you know it seems that they are not interested at all but something happens midway along January for example and they kind of seems that now they are interested in you and they are giving you chance you know to uh, to make something out of it happen so what we do have with these cards here guys is really establishing I, a new undertaking that you had it in mind back in the past but something blocked you to do it and now you have the means necessary or let's say the clearance you know to proceed forward with it the uh, the intentional card here is the ace of wands followed with the empress so what these cards here are pointing that is not going to be entirely uh, the true word these cards are saying is comfortable but I will say it's going to be a little bit awkward for you to proceed on into that direction main reason for that it is because you th this field that you're going to dive yourself into or the waters that you're going to dive yourself into are very unknown so you are not used to perform into these circumstances if that's a project or you are not used to be with such a woman or a guy that you're trying to be with all right so that is a complete completely new field of uh, I don't know completely new field of expertise if I may say say it that way and uh, <clears throat> at that specific point you should not take it as a, a bad thing as the ace of wands here is saying but more like you should take it as a uh, as a new opportunity of yourself to improve your skills if that is about career or to improve your experience if that it is about a, a relationship one thing here with those cards which are actually supporting the first card is that you should not uh, rely on previous experiences all right because that as i said it is a, a brand new experience of yours and you need to allow yourself you need to be open you know for surprises and you need to be open as well to um, readapt your uh, to readapt the way how you used to do things if I may express myself that way so just to give you an example if we are following the relationship type you know until this very moment you may uh, you may dated a, a woman or a a man, a man uh, the, which are very prone to partying you know they like they liked back in the past to go out every Friday in a pub and, and, and to have good time and etc etc so basically you would use to hang out with those people out um, in public in social events and etc etc and that is how you do things but with this guy or a, or, or a woman you know that you are trying to impress and because you kind of like like them for one or another reason you're going to find out that they're not really into partying all right that is just an example and they don't like to go out in public places they don't like to socialize at all what they do like in friday night is to just you know sit in front of the fireplace with a glass of wine watch a really good movie and etc etc so you you have to readjust here if you want to take full advantage of uh, of this opening for you you have to readjust the way you do things which at the start is going to be a bit hectic it's going to be a bit frantic as well you may feel yourself aggravated and quite annoyed uh, and uh, at some point and for many of you you may decide you know what it just isn't worth it this isn't what I, what I wanted and that is completely fine okay you can just walk away but if you walk away you will get yourself back into where you were uh, in the month of December and then the month of January will present you with nothing more than that all right it's just it's gonna be just the same thing so from now on the reading takes place only for those who actually are willing to readjust the way they they are doing things either into career or either into a relationship and we go to the uh, next card which is the challenges that are causing predicaments six of wands with the page of pentacles as just as I su suspected <clears throat> 
the predicament for you is going to be the anointment uh, of that you know you have to basically readapt the aggravation you need to know that nothing happens over time you have to work work it out it is no different than going into gym all right going into gym and doing all those exercises ain't gonna give you the body shape you want it ain't gonna make you fit overnight and at the start it seems uh you know exhausting uh you are fatigued probably you will not make the exercises correctly but the more you go the more you contribute the more you work it out <clears throat> the more experienced you become and with much more ease you cope with that routine and same thing goes here you know at the start you readopting or kind of like um, as I said uh, uh, making the things in a different way it could be quite annoying aggravating for some of you as well it will seem merely impossible to do so the six of wands here is pointing to the big challenge for you to actually establish a um, how can I say a, a solid path how to do these things they will they will be like an alien for you uh, Sagittarius is and that could be if if you are trying to find yourself a, a job you know really well paid these cards may point that you are going to have an opportunity to, to start one you are gonna start it and you will find out that you know you it's kind of like it's something very alien for you to do you, you don't find pleasure into it or it's very difficult for you to do it or, or, or it feels awkward for you to do it and etc etc and literally you will have it you will have the difficulties to find um, the middle ground I don't know how to say it in English really but to fit in the routine if I may express myself that way or to fit that that new routine into your uh, into your being and I'm uh, um, into your self-expression if I may express myself I, I, I hope that you uh, that you kind of like can make sense of what I'm saying right now. I really don't know how to say it in English because we do have a specific word for that in my language and I haven't met it in English. Um, <clears throat> people say to get the hang of it. So you will have a difficulty to get a hang of it. All right, but with uh, a, a bit of tenacity here and, and being a yelling that you will fit into that routine, you will fit that kind of a routine <clears throat> into uh, into the way you perform things and into your strategies will inevitably going to do it uh, which uh, our makers go to the next card here the seven of wands uh, as a guidance with the sun card which points to the internal test so you're gonna be test in, tested inwardly that whole thing here is to make you a, a better person to make you more versatile if, my, if I can express myself that way so uh, think of it that way you know, uh, let's say that you are very unyielding and very stubborn for certain criteria or uh, for certain why you do things and you, you are stubborn to such a point that you don't want to even consider trying it in a different way. But now because this opening here is so severe, you will consider doing it and as more as you are doing it even if, even at the start it looking it is looking very awkward to you and it's kind of like it is looking that you will never get a hang of it the more you do it the more you are going to realize that hey you know it's kind of like it's it, it, it works even if i am not able to um, explain how it does work and uh, by the way these cards here are uh, very sound especially for those Sagittarius which are having anger ma anger management issues the, which are angry all the time and etc etc what they are going to find out here is that being kind and being prone giving people chance to bury the hatchets down uh, will help a lot with the interactions with others and actually it is exactly what really opens doors because in this world guys you cannot do things on your own I mean you can but at certain point you have to use the help of someone else and what these cards here are pointing is, is that if you are much more um, open to be versatile with the interactions with other people and with, with situations in general 
that is going to help you, uh, Sagittarius, is to take advantage of much more uh, options available in front of yourself. Not to mention that you are going to make a lot more people happy uh, around you. And the Sun card, it is about shared happiness. So the more you make other people happy, the more happier you end up uh, in results. So you make your boss happy, your boss makes you happy. All right, you make your partner happy in relationship by showing them that you are willing to make compromise with your behavior you know like I said if they like to party for example you don't well you may try to uh, to have a taste of their life and you will see them happy so they will make you happy next time sitting with you in front of the uh, fireplace with a glass of wine having a good movie and etc etc and that way you know you both are going to contribute for each other's happiness so what we do have here is uh, as a guidance is that whole month placing you in an awkward position and, and forcing you to act in an awkward way doesn't mean that this is a wrong way. It means that that is a, a different way from what you had in mind until this very moment and as a matter of fact it's going to be more productive way. So don't try to resist it guys because this is a inner test for yourself and an, and an inwardly test that at the end when you pass it you will end up much more happier than before seeing that you have much more tools to work with either career wise or either relationship wise on your ex on your disposal and that means that you will be able to take much more much bigger advantage of much more opportunities moving on forward into the future and at the end, of course, as we said, uh, if this is about relationship, if this is about career, you will end up much more lucrative, as we said here. Or if it is about relationship, you will end up much more blissful or in a sense with someone uh, in case you are searching, you know, that person that you are searching for uh, or you have interest in because these cards are pointing that you already have an interest uh, <clears throat> in some way. Uh, you will be able to get one step closer to them. Unfortunately, these cards does not point that a, an imminent relationship is going to happen. The last card that is the King of Swords with the Strength card. So that is a, a very broad final outcome. What these cards here points is that you will know how things work at the end. You will finally understand what you did wrong in the past. Why things didn't happen the way you want them to happen. All right, or why in a certain situations that are similar to this one you did not succeed or you were not successful and uh, that will allow you from now on to be much more calculative because the king of swords does not care about code of conduct, king of swords does not care about a a, a common sense and etc etc what the king of swords cares is how the machine works the grand scheme of things what can be used as a asset and what can slow you down so uh, and that could only be understood according to these cards here only if you know the both sides of the coins so you had in one of the sides of the coins before months of january and now you are to find out about what the other side of the coin is and as you have the full picture of all the sides of the coins from there you will have much more vigor and uh, it's not the determination but enthusiasm was the word that I'm searching for you know to make your situation work out knowing that even if you have to readapt a little bit your strategies here and there the final results worth it the goal justifies the means and these means are not going to be something material it just will these means asks you to be a little bit more versatile and versatility is going to be the name of the month of January for you uh, Sagittarius. So that being said guys this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for Sagittarius star sign and again that was a, a general reading so in this uh, video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, just like I did for the examples in this video, that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!